Fact number one, humans have jumped further than horses in the Olympics. The Olympic world record for the longest human long jump is greater than the world record for the longest horse long jump. Mike Powell set the record in 1991 by jumping 8.95 meters in the horse. Extra Dry set the record in 1900 by jumping 6.10. Speaking of random, that, that's very that's very random. Uh, fact number one: The Terminator script was sold for a dollar. James Cameron is the award-winning director for the movie, like movies like Atlantic and Avatar, uh, Avatar, Avatar. In order to get his big break with the Terminator, he sold the script for a dollar. And a promise that he'd direct it. And of course the movie was a famous success. Which is very, very interesting. Wow. Okay. Fact three. Pigeon poop is property of the British crown. In the 18th century, pr- pigeon poop was used to make gunpowder. So King George confirmed the droppings to be the property of the crown. What? Okay, that, I don't, I know that it's something also like every swan in England belongs to the queen or some weird, sh- like there's, well, king now? King, yeah, King Charles, right? So, I, they do have some weird laws, like the US has some weird laws. I would love to talk about some weird laws here in the future. Oh, that'd be fun. I've heard some really, really random ones for um, the United States. Fact number four. Onions were found in the eyes of the Egyptian mummies. Pharaoh Ramsey IV of ancient Egypt had his eyes replaced with small onions when he was mummified. The rings in the layers of the onions were worshipped because people thought they represented eternal life. This aligns with the reason of mummification to allow the Pharaoh to live forever. Eww. Please, nobody put onions in my eyeballs when I die. I will not appreciate that one by any means. Fact number six. Yes. Abraham Lincoln was a bartender. You know, the 16th president of the United States fought for the freedom of slaves and the Union, but you did not know that he was a licensed bartender. Lincoln's liquor license was discovered in 1930 and displayed in the Spring Hill Liquor Store. According to Wayne C. Temple, a Lincoln expert, Congress wanted to fire you you wait to fire Ulysses S. Grant in 1863 because he drank a lot. And Lincoln's response was to send Grant a supply of whiskey. What? That's so random. I didn't know he was a bartender. I mean semi semi modern era, you know. I mean the guy ended up living in chicago for a while so i mean yeah may, makes sense you gotta make money pay, pay for that law school uh fact seven beethoven never knew how to multiply or divide uh, that actually doesn't surprise me the re renowned pianist p- pianist the renowned pian pianist went to a latin school called tur Senium, where he was taught some math but never learned multiplication or division only addition once when he needed to multiply 62 by 50 he wrote 62 down on line 50 times and added it all up oh lord wow i would oh imagine that would take forever yeah that's no that's no boy no they should have taught the man they, they really should have. Uh, Japanese released sushi-inspired Kit Kats. For a limited time in 2017, Tokyo's Kit Kat chocolate, cho- chocolatory, chocolatory shop, fuck, I don't know, made three types of chocolate bars that were inspired by sushi but didn't actually taste like raw fish. The tuna sushi was strawberry seaweed-wrapped. One tasted like pumpkin pudding, and the sea urchin sushi was flavored was a flavor of cardamom uh, melon with something cheese all, all were made with puffed rice white chocolate and a bit of wasabi J- the japanese do some interesting stuff i'd love to visit japan just because 
they're so out there with some of their their things. Uh, let's see here. An espresso maker was sent into space in 2015. Coffee lovers will appreciate this interesting space fact. Samantha Christofetani Fertiti was the first astronaut to get warm and cozy piece of home sent to her while in orbit. The Italian space agency worked with Italian coffee manufacturers La Visa to get coffee capsules into space. Well, that's kind of cool. The word aquarium means watering place for cattle in Latin. Of course, today's aquariums aren't for cattle. The first aquarium that looks like what you'd imagine was created in 1921 and opened in 1924 in England. Uh, we're going to go right at facts 8. We'll go with 8. I think I'm on 9, but we'll go with 8. An employee at Pixar accidentally deleted a sequence of Toy Story 2 during production. Ed Catmull, the co-founder of Pixar, wrote, wrote in his book Creative Inc. that the year before the movie came out, someone entered command something RM minus F, RF something on the drive where the files were saved, and scenes started deleting. It would have taken a year to recreate what was deleted, but luckily another employee had a backup of the entire film on her laptop at home. Oh, shit. That would have ruined my childhood if Toy Story 2 got messed up in production. I watched that one, I think, the most as a child. Uh, yeah, okay. In fact, 9, Steve Jobs and Steve... Uh, uh oh. I, I know his name, but I'm forgetting how to pronounce it. Wozniak, sorry. Steve Wozniak and Ron Wayne started Apple Inc. on April Fool's Day. The three technology innovators signed the documents to form the Apple Computer Company on April 1st, 1976, but the company was not fully incorporated until. January 3rd, 1977. 30 years later, the company was renamed Apple Inc. and is no joke. In 2018, Apple became the country's first trillion dollar company. Of course, computers have come a long way since then. And we will go with, last but not least, fact number 10. The inventor of the tricycle personally delivered two to Queen Victoria. In 1881, Queen Victoria was on tour on the Isles of Wright when her horse and carriage could not keep up with a woman riding a tricycle. <laughs> Intrigued by the bike, the queen proceeded to order two. She also asked that the inventor, James Starley, arrive with the delivery. Though you might, might, <laughs> might associate tricycles with toddlers, Queen Victoria made them cool among the elite at the time. What the hell? That's that that is one fact I would not have I would not have ever thought of was that Queen Victoria made tricycles cool for the elite wealthy class. That that one's that one's pretty interesting. Uh 